But first tonight at 6, a high potency problem. We dig deeper into the issues surrounding a convenience store near a homeless shelter. Good evening. Walia Convenience Store near the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House is coming under fire for selling what critics are calling high potency alcohol to vulnerable people. Neighbors say it is leading to an increase in crime near downtown. The owners say it's a bigger problem than just their business and they're being unfairly targeted. Kelloland's Matt Holson shows you what the alcohol looks like and why someone who grew up in the neighborhood says it shouldn't be sold there. Pay a visit to 10th Street in Indiana and Sioux Falls, and it won't take you long to find cans littering the local businesses and people drinking alcohol right out in the open. Matt Walls grew up in the nearby Whittier neighborhood and says the area is home to an alcohol abuse problem. He points to this business, Walia Convenience Store, and its practice of selling what he calls high-potency alcohol next to a homeless shelter as part of the issue. Walls is also a member of the South Dakota Alcohol Policy Alliance. A normal beer is about 4%, 4.5%. Okay, um, these are 8%, 10%, 14% or more uh, ABV, but that only means that's only part of the story. The truth of the matter is that this type of alcoholic beverage, we call it malt liquor uh, beverages, these are the most high potency, cheapest alcohol beverages in the world, arguably. And in this neighborhood, we're selling them in massive quantities to some of the most vulnerable people in our community. Walia's off-sale alcohol license is currently up for debate with the Sioux Falls City Council. Walia spokesperson Michael Alamu says the business, which was started by an Ethiopian immigrant more than 10 years ago, is willing to change. We have not considered uh, doing away with alcohol sales, but what we plan to present is we uh, used to sell high, we used to sell high concentration um, high concentration, uh, inexpensive alcohol. We're getting rid of that in order to hope, hope to remedy the issue. Sioux Falls police say they've responded to 672 calls to the Walia immediate area over the past three years. The top three calls every year, disorderly subject, intoxicated subject, and man down. Wall says taking away pocket change booze on this corner would be a step in the right direction. There are, there are usually people who will say, well, if you don't have it here, they'll just go somewhere else. And you'll just move the problem, you kick the can down the road. The data shows otherwise. The data show every time when you reduce alcohol availability, you reduce crime. The key is that less availability and higher price and less marketing of these products leads to less crime uh, and, and less chaos in communities. Alamu says Walia is not to blame and is a victim of these crimes as well. There were so many biohazards in our, in our area and it's our property so we clean it up. We offer a bathroom, but yeah. He also says the store does its best to stop people from drinking on its property. We shoo them away. We tell them, hey, you can't do that here. We tell them you can't drink on our property. We call the cops. Those efforts aren't enough to satisfy neighboring businesses. In Sioux Falls, Matt Holson, Kelloland News. And on tonight's Eye on Kelloland, we're going to hear from two neighboring business owners about what they're doing to make things safer for their customers and employees. We'll also look closer at Walia and how it says it's focusing more on food for Ethiopian community, not alcohol. In a Kelloland.com original, digital data reporter Ray Yost looks at the police reports around Walia convenience store. She looked over the data from three years to see what kinds of incidents officers responded to in that area. You can check out that report on Kelloland.com right now.